You've been framed, that's right. And there's nothing you can do about it. But who framed you? That's the question. It's whoever was using Photoshop Elements. That's who it was. That's right. Let's go and frame an image. <laughs> go into view and organize photos. I think after this lesson, I am going to eat because eating is good for you and it tastes good and you don't feel as lightheaded and crazy. You know, without food, you just start getting, you know, loony and out there. I mean, not that I would know about what that what that's like. You know, I'm always in full possession of my faculties and and senses. I never act, you know, delirious, ever, never. So, but I'm just saying, some people, without food, start to act strange. All right. Grab an image, any image, anything you want. I'm going to grab the palm trees. You remember this? Let's pull up the palm trees. Whatever you have pulled up, we're going to go into standard edit mode. That's right. Standard edit mode. Mm -hmm. Yep. The day is winding down. All right. This image happens to be in a different color mode and ask me, do I want to convert? Yes. Yours may not come up with that, but this one did. All right. There we are. Now, we are going to choose in the toolbox the custom shape tool. Remember we used this before for the little bubbles to make it people look like they're talking? Well, if that's not the one that comes up on top, make sure you go and right-click and click Custom Shape Tool. And then up top here, our options are changed. So this won't show up right away probably. So click this little right arrow and go into the Frames section. Now how do you want to get framed? You want to get framed by a square guy or you want to get framed by a well-rounded out kind of guy. I mean, it's up to you. Or you could go for the jagged guy. There's all sorts of different frames in here. I like them. In this case, I think I'm going to choose this frame 26. You can choose anything you want. Once you find the one you like, double-click. Now, before you do anything, what color do you want the frame to be? That's the question. Before you do anything, you want to choose the color. So, in this case, I'm going to pick like a green, kind of to maybe match the palm trees a little bit. Yeah. Choose whatever you like. Make sure that that's the, the foreground color is chosen before we actually use this tool. And now, we're going to go to the top left-hand side of the picture or top, bottom, any corner. It doesn't matter which corner. But you're going to be dragging diagonally. And as you drag, you'll see that our frame has begun. Oops, see I released too quickly. And I am actually realizing that that frame is too big. So, I'm going to go undo I'm going to pick a different frame. Something something small and simple, I guess. Let's see what we got. Small and simple. Small and simple. Maybe frame 12. All right. Let's see how that one turns out. So once you have it about right, you release, and there's your frame. Now, what you may have figured out here is 
it's cropping out too much of the picture and there's a problem. So, what we're going to do is resize the image so that the canvas is bigger than the actual photo. We've done this before, but I'm going to take the canvas and make it maybe four inches wider. Oops. Let me try that again. Resize canvas, and I'm going to add two inches to the width and the height. So instead of five, it's going to be, I'm going to add three inches. So six, seven, eight. So the five will go to an eight. And the 7.5 will go to 8.5, 9.5, 10.5, exactly. And I hit OK. All right. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I can't see the whole thing now. I'm going to go to, let's see. Sixty-five percent. Let's try that. Yeah, that works. Now, if I do some dragging, it should be fine. Ah, see. And if I wanted to, I could. See, I really don't like that frame, though. I'm going to undo. I'm going to pick something more interesting. Like this one. I'm going to drag. Make it a little bigger than what we got. Click a different layer. Go back, use the Move tool, move this frame around a little bit, see if we can get it right. And we can always adjust the size, see, you notice how there's a little bit of white showing, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to grab this end, move it over a little bit, grab the top, move it down a little bit, like that. Perfect. Now we'll go to another layer so we can see how it's going to look. And there you go, abracadabra. Nice little frame. And like I said, you can adjust the size of it, move it around once you've done it. But it's a nifty little tool. All sorts of different styles of frames. I just happen to choose this one and make it whatever color you want. You can add an effect to it if you wanted to just like you can other layers. Because the frame looks good, but I think we can make it look better. So what we're going to do is go to make sure that frame layer is selected, the shape one. And now we're going to go to filters. And the submenu, we're going to go to texture. And now we can apply all these different textures to that frame. So you can experiment with the ones you want, but in this case we're just going to choose Crackleur. Crackleur? Crackular. Crackular. There we go. It's saying the layer must be simplified to proceed, so just hit OK. And then it'll bring this up, and there is how the crackle look will look on the frame. And you can adjust the crackle spacing if you want it further apart. Oh, there's my phone. Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm back now. So, once this comes up, I'm sorry, I didn't show you what, what's included here because the window is too big. Let me bring it up for you so you can see this better. All right. So now... We can adjust the crack spacing. If we want it further apart, we'd increase this. In this case, I kind of want them closer together, so I chose 20. You can choose the crack depth if you want to. See what changes that makes. See, that's a more shallow crack. Deeper crack. I'm going to choose a deeper crack like that. Then there's crack brightness. Sorry, there was a voicemail on my phone. 
All right, so crack brightness. Doesn't make that much of a difference, but I'm going to pick three, like so. So once you get it how you want it, <coughs> click OK. There, that looks pretty good. But we're going to add one more thing to it that we've used before. Under Layer Styles, we're going to go to Drop Shadows. And I'm going to try a high drop shadow, see how that looks first. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So the shadow always makes something look more real. So we have a little bit of a drop shadow there. Looks almost like a real frame in a picture. A nice little texture we got there for the, uh, the frame. So enjoy yourselves with the, the frame.